Internal Revenue Service IRS Tax News. The Child Tax Credit Update Portal allows families to update direct deposit information or unenroll. COVID Tax Tip 2021-101, July 14, 2021. The IRS recently updated the Child Tax Credit Update Portal. There's a link to that here. To enable families to update their bank account information so they can receive their monthly child tax credit payment. So a quick recap on the child tax credit and how then the portal will fit into that and how the update to the portal will fit into the portal that fits into the update for the child tax credit. So you'll recall that the child tax credit has been updated, meaning that they have increased the amount of the child tax credit for 2021 and they've done this advanced thing. So they're going to be sending out advanced payments. The basic overview being that the child tax credit before the advanced payment, if you just think about the child tax credit itself, has been increased for, for 2021, which means that if you were to file your tax return for tax year 2021 by April 15th of 2022, and you had no advanced payments, you would then have a larger amount. They also made more of it refundable, meaning that uh, even if your tax liability is at zero you still get money back in essence making it kind of a benefit program then in essence they took half of it and they're saying they're going to prepay it over 2021 so they're going to be paying that throughout the year here and so they kind of divided it by six to half of it and then divided it by six and now they're going to be sending out those payments now that gets a little bit complex it seems somewhat straightforward and we're getting kind of used to these advanced payment types of things because they've been using this tool quite often at this point in time including same kind of thing with the stimulus payments that they did but we know that uh, when you start sending checks out then you're going to have to base it on the prior year you're going to have some problems that could be there with the income phase outs that are going to be taking place you could have problems with of course new children that are here in 2021 that weren't on the 2020 tax return or joint custody situations where a child is on one return one year and another return for another year and so on and so forth and therefore they have created this portal that you can go on and you can address some of these problems if they're applicable to you now note that most people, if they filed their 2020 tax return and they qualify for the advanced child tax credits, should not have to do anything. The IRS should be able to predict what the credit will be, send out the advance payments, and then you just deal with it and adjust it on your tax return when you file it in 2022 for the tax year 2021. But you might have some people that need that have some of these kind of conditions that are in place. One of them might be that you want to update your uh, banking information because if they're sending out checks, they're going to have to send it out based on the prior banking information for the prior year. So they you might not even have the banking information to them or you might have an address instead of a bank account and they might send it to an address. And if you're moving around, obviously that's a problem. So if you're in a situation where, you, where you're going you're gonna to get money from the IRS and you don't think they have the right bank account or the right place to send the check or you want them to send it in some other way, you may have the ability to do that with this portal access at this point in time. And of course, if you want them to not send you the prepayments, possibly because you think you don't qualify for the prepayments, even though they, they think you do based on the information for 2020, for example, if you had a dependent in 2020 that's joint custody or something like that and they're no longer going to be a dependent for 2021 and you want to kind of opt out of the prepayments because if you get the prepayments under that condition and you're not actually qualifying for it in 2021 you would think that the irs would then take the money back you know at that point you know make you make you adjust it basically when you file the tax returns unless they change the law and say yeah we'll just let you keep it or something like that which i would you know I wouldn't put it past them to do that at this point, but I wouldn't bet on it either. So, but in any case, in any case, that's where we're at at this point in time. The tool also allows families to unenroll from the advanced payments if they don't want to receive them. The uh, update portal is available only on irs.gov, irs.gov, the IRS website. Any updates made by August 2nd will apply to the August 13 payment and all subsequent monthly payments for the rest of 2021. Families will receive their July 15th payment by the direct deposit in the bank account currently on file with the IRS. 
Uh, people with without current bank account information can use the online tool to update their information so they can get the payments sooner by direct deposit. Those who are not enrolled for direct deposit will receive a check. How to update direct deposit information. First, families should use the child tax credit update portal to confirm their eligibility for payments. If eligible, the tool will also indicate whether they are enrolled or receive their payment by direct deposit. If so, it will list the full bank routing number and the last four digits of their account number. This is the account that will receive their July 15th payment. So you can go on there, you can kind of check the, the banking information that is currently there. If you have a check from your checking account, if you have a checking account that, that has the routing number and the bank account number on the bottom of it, which is typically the information you would need to set up an online transfer. So if they choose, they can, they can change their bank account uh, receiving the payment starting with the August 13th payment. If the update portal shows a family is eligible to receive payments but not enrolled to receive them by direct deposit, they will receive a mailed check each month. So obviously if they don't have the bank account but they have your address from filing the tax return, then they're gonna send it to the address. So if you're moving around, and that's no longer your address, then you probably want to do something or else, you know, they're going to be sending checks out and that's going to cause problems when you file the tax return and whatnot in the following year. So if they want to receive their payment by direct deposit, they can use the update portal to add their bank account information. Couples who are married and filed jointly must both update their bank account information the same day to the same account to continue getting joint payments. So any family receiving checks should consider switching to direct deposit to access their money quicker. So obviously they're trying to push everybody onto the direct deposit because that's easier for them, should be faster for you. So direct deposit re, um, removes the time, worry, and expense of, of uh, cashing a check and eliminates the chance of a lost, stolen, or undelivered check. People who don't have a bank account can visit the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation website. There's a link to that here or details on opening an account online or use the FDA's bank find. There's a link to that here. And so there's a link to some other banking tools we'll take a look at. But just note that uh, if you're working with someone and, and whatnot that's setting this up as well and you're, and you're looking into this, it would be nice to have the bank account information if, if we're dealing with people, if, if we're moving around kind of situation because of, again it would then go to an account with you or, or the taxpayer as you move around so this is a tool to locate an, an fdic insured bank there's a bank on there's a bank on tool here there's the american banks association tool there's the independent community bankers of america tool there's the national credit union administration have lists for banks and credit unions that open and account online so families can stop payments anytime. So if you're saying, hey, I don't want these, stop these payments, IRS, and you want to stop them, and there could be legitimate reasons. You might say, why in the world would I stop people from sending me money? But again, you might not qualify. They, they might be basing it on 2020, and you're saying, hey, look, I don't actually qualify for that credit because possibly that dependent's not going to be on my tax return for 2021, even though they were on my tax return for 2020. You're sending me money. Does that mean I'm going to have to pay it back when I file the tax return in 2021? You would think yes, because if you don't qualify for it, you'd have to pay it back unless the IRS just says, yeah, we're not, you know, we're not going to make you pay it back, which again, I would not be surprised if they did that, but I would certainly not want to plan for that either. So in any case, even after payments begin, families can stop full all future monthly payments by using the unenroll feature in the child tax credit update portal. Eligible families who make this choice will still receive the rest of their child tax credits as a lump sum when they file their 2021 federal income tax return next year. So what happens if you don't, you know, if you stop your payments? Well, then you then you take your calculation for the credit that you would get when you file the tax return for 2021 tax year by April 15th, 2021. And then you would just get the full credit at this point. Meaning last year you, you got like 2000, this year they upped the amount. So you'd get the full increased amount if you didn't get the prepayments. If you got the prepayments, then what they did is they, they're gonna take that increased credit, divide it by two, and then divide that by six, and then give, it, give that half of it out during the year. And so you'll have to reduce the amount that you would have gotten on your credit before by the amount of the prepayment. 
if you get the prepayment. Okay, so to stop all payments starting in August and the rest of 2021, they must unenroll by August 2nd, 2021. Who should unenroll? Some families may prefer to receive the entire credit as a refund when they file their 2021 return. The portal's unenroll feature can also be helpful to any families that no longer qualifies for the child tax credit or believes they will not qualify when they file their 2021 return. Married filing joint taxpayers both need to unenroll. If one spouse does not unenroll, they will get half the joint payments they were supposed to receive with their spouse. For more information about the unenrollment process, including deadlines, the topic J, there's a link to that here on the child tax credit FAQs, frequently asked credits on questions on irs.gov. The IRS will add more features to the child tax credit update portal through the summer and fall. Soon people will be able to update the mailing address. So you can't yet update the mailing address, although you can update the, the payment information for the online banking at this point. That's interesting. You would think the mailing address would be easier to update, but but no. So the, But in any case, you can look forward to that in the future where they're going to fix that at some point and update the mailing address. By fall, people will be able to use uh, the tool to update changes to family status and income. So more information is on the Advanced Child Tax Credit Payment in 2021 page on irs.gov. There's a link to that here. There'll be a link to this in the description.